how to play chess. Chess is a martial art. So it's about movement. And it's about freedom of movement. It's a mechanical puzzle and it's about freedom of movement. Don't think in terms of specific moves. I want to show you freedom of movement and how to win. As I say, it's the martial art and the strongest piece or combination on the board is the rooks. Doubled. To get the rooks working together. So these are Mr. Potter's maxims. Seize the open file and double the rooks. These are the ranks. These are the files. An open file is where the pawns have gone. You seize an open file with a rook and then you double the rooks on the open file. So I'll show you how to do it. So I want to show you the fluidity and not necessarily the moves. For example, the first rule is to keep the pawns back and to keep the queen back. So you keep the pawns back. So I'm just going to show you the important principle of moving the pawns. Now you know how to move a pawn, one or two squares, and then one more. Now in this position, on passant is very important. So if this pawn goes two squares, I can take you en passant. Now that's very important, because otherwise that is then a passed pawn. It's got past that pawn, and so it can become a piece if those two were there. It would be a passed pawn. So you must play en passant. It's cheating not to play en passant. Right, so you've got to get the pieces you've got to get your pieces out to get the rooks together. So the purpose of castling is to get the rooks together. So the game, the play, is important to know this basic strategy and then to try and stop your opponent castling or stop him developing his pieces <coughs> so he can castle, so he can get the rooks together. So you've got to try and get your rooks together by castling. You've got to stop him castling and get these rooks together. Okay, so we have a rough rule. A pawn, then a knight. A pawn, then a bishop. But it can be any combination. Don't think in terms of rigid, opening moves. Just think pawn, then a knight. Pawn, then a bishop. Pawn, pawn, knight. Pawn, pawn, bishop. But obviously not too many pawn moves unless you're gaining territory and pushing it back. Remember, it's a yin yang, it's a power struggle. So, the first thing to think about is that the bishop can be blocked in by the pawns. So it's best to have the pawns on the opposite colour to the bishop. So the bishop, rather than having those pawns blocked in like that, blocking your bishop in, you've got to have it the other way around so your bishops can move. As I say, the main thing is to keep the pawns back anyway, but if you do have to move them, remember that, so you've got freedom of movement of the bishop. Now the next thing with the knights, you know, I know you can think in terms of an L-shaped movement, we should think of it in terms of a jumping a square to the opposite colour. So the game is white then black white then black, the, the knight is on a white square, it jumps to the nearest black square. See those two squares are there but it's not jumping them is it? It's moving so you're jumping to the nearest opposite colour which as you say is the L-shaped move but it's jumping black to white. <coughs> One basic tip is to keep trying to get the knight in that sort of, sort of position so your, your pawns are holding a structure and then your knights are coming into attack. <coughs> then you can get you know this knight out there, the, the, the queen out there, you can castle. Now when you castle the king steps into the castle and shuts the door. See? On the queen's side he steps in to the castle and shuts the door. One action in the game, in the story. And that, that gets the rooks together. Then the rule is <coughs> <coughs> seize the open file, double the rooks, Mr. Potter's maxims. So there you go, there, 
you, you, in this game, I just show this to demonstrate, you've now got this open file down to this square, so you seize the open file, which is already seized by castling, which is always an advantage of castling, is you, you grab the queen, the queen's file. And you can move this, remember, not a specific square, anywhere up there, and then double the rook. So the rooks are doubled. The next principle is you've got to sacrifice pieces to open this up. See, so you've got the knight attacking. You, you, you know, you could have the bishop coming over there, all attacking there at this point. You, um, so the basic principle, really, is to open up the game, because if you've got two pieces attacking, and the, over your opponent and the queen coming in you, there's a checkmate there okay that's it